Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'll be reviewing Mini Attack Submarine. Now before we get into the review, um, there is a th announcement I'd like to make. Um, the Ramin brothers that made um, the Digital Homicide games, um, apparently they were threatening to sue more than 100 different users on Steam. And while I'm not one of them, Valve stepped in and uh, deleted all their games and basically permanently banned them. So. While they totally deserve it, while it's pretty awesome, and that means the whole digital homicide crisis thing or whatever is dead now, it's a little bit problem for me. Because, I mean, I bought a lot of digital homicide games a couple weeks prior to this, but if I happen to run out of digital homicide games before the year is out, um, well, I, tough luck. I mean, I can't, it'd be really hard to find some more that I don't already have. And another problem is, is that the whole thing, because it doesn't really, the game doesn't re isn't really around anymore, not available to purchase, um, that makes the whole review aspect of this game review kind of pointless. So, yeah, I'm not really reviewing the game, it's more personal opinion now, but I'm, I'm going to just go on along with it still, because, I mean, I put in the money to buy all these games, I put in the time, and I'm putting in the resources, so damn it, I'm going to see this through. So yeah, this makes digital homicide games kinda hard to come across. I mean, you could probably still get them on Steam keys for free, but I mean, that's kinda hard because what are the odds out of all the thousands and thousands of Steam games available, they happen to have keys for a crappy mini attack submarine game that only existed a month. Speaking of which, yeah, this game is actually celebrating its one month anniversary, and it didn't even last a month, it actually got uh, taken down yesterday. So, um, yeah, and when I checked, when I checked uh, the number of people who reviewed it, this is about a week before this happened, the, only like 47 people reviewed this game. And again, it was mostly negative. Now, 47 is next to nothing, but I mean, let's say the day before it got taken down, let's say it was, you know, the, it was multiplied by a factor of 5. Let's say 235 people reviewed the game instead. That's still little, and let's say, you know, I mean, that's the only people reviewing the game. Let's say only 50% of the people who bought the game just bought the game so they could write a bad review about it and then be done with it forever, which is probably a higher percent than 50%, but we're just going to be generous and go with that anyway. That means only 470 copies were sold, which is nothing, which, yeah, that's nothing. And again, game, some digital homicide games are rarer than this. I mean, there was a couple, again, a week before, there was ones that only seven people reviewed. So that means there'd be like less than a hundred copies of the game sold. So yeah, I mean, this is quite a rare game now, quite hard to come across, and um, yeah. So let's get right into the review of Mini Attack Submarine, because I've been babbling a long. So yeah, Mini Attack Submarine. Um, it was a game that you could get for 99 cents on Steam, but doesn't exist anymore. Um, the basic controls for it were um, you use the up and down arrows to go, you know, increase and decrease altitude or depth, depth, and uh, you use the left and right keys in order to speed up or slow down. And then you use the uh, left click button in order to fire torpedoes, which you have a seemingly unlimited amount. And uh, yeah, you just kind of you know go around the map shooting different enemies like turtles, or jellyfish, or seahorses, or pebbles, or um, a ball of lightning. Yeah. I, 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 I'd like to take out balls of lightning with a torpedo. It sounds really amazing. Overall, this game is easy to understand and play, but there's just one major problem with it, and that's the most simple game I've ever played ever. Which is amazing. I mean, it really begs the question, why? Why is it for sale on Steam for 99 cents and not, say, on an Unblocked Games at School website where it should belong? And even then, that's an, un and that's an insult to Unblocked Games at School, really. And it's really, really basic. I really don't know how this game got greenlit at all. And, or much less has a price on it. And, I mean, it's so basic. It, it's more basic than any other Flash game I've ever played. It's more basic than any free game I've ever downloaded and installed. It's more basic than those old CD-ROM games I used to play as a kid. It's more basic than the Scratch games that I used to make when I was nine. And 
when your game is less complicated than a game I made on Scratch when I was nine, that's... something's wrong with it. There's, there's something wrong with that. Now, what this game really reminds me of is a program called After Dark. Now, for people who don't know what After Dark is, um, it was basically just screensaver software from the mid-90s. That included a bunch of different screensavers for your computer. Now, well, how it reminds me of one is that a couple of them were interactable. And so it really just reminds me of an interactable screensaver. Now, the thing is, is when your game is being compared to an interactable screensaver from 20 years ago, your game needs improvement or is, it's just plain bad and you shouldn't release it. So yeah, that pretty much explains Mini Attack Submarine. It's not a game, it's more of a screen, it should have been a screensaver that should have been included with flying toasters. So yeah, overall, well you actually you can't buy this game anymore. I was about to say, overall, don't buy this game, buy something else. Well now you really do have to buy something else because this game isn't around anymore. So yeah, that's Mini Attack Submarine. Next week I'll review Forsaken Uprising, and I will see you guys then. I hope if you like my video, you can subscribe or like if you want, and overall, I'm Oscar7, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.